What's up guys, Sledgehammer70 here, and today I get to check out this beauty. This is a 2002 Viper GTS Coupe. For those of you who don't know your Vipers, it's the last year of this generation. This is one of 120 yellow Vipers, 40 of which are the ACRs, 80 of them are the GTS. So this is a very rare color, rare car in general. It's got about 460 horsepower, I think 502 foot-pound torque. Thing is a beast. Now this is what you would call a race car. It doesn't have suspension of modern day cars. It will beat you up when you drive it, but you don't give a shit when you drive a Viper. It's a Viper. So let's check it out. Six foot five giant. You get to kill the music. So when you're a big guy like me, you don't necessarily fit. Oh, hold on, gotta get my seatbelt on. This guy's crazy. Alrighty then. So, 2002 Viper. These uh, these bad boys. The interior is pretty pretty legit for 2002. Got your is that an aftermarket CD? Nope. Stock. So the car is all stock, all original, nothing too crazy going on here. And I don't have my GoPro mounted, so I apologize for the bumpiness. But you're getting the real experience of driving a Viper by me doing it this way. <laughs> so coming around the corner, I mean, the cars don't handle that bad. They're a little bumpy, but come on, that's to be expected. But in general, the car's not that heavy for how big it is. Um, it's got the big old V10, 3,000 pounds. So it's about six, 700 pounds lighter than uh, the Camaros we all love, uh, which is a pretty considerable amount of weight. And uh, he's pretty mad because he, he, he claims he's got like a full tank of gas. He's like, eh, I was kind of hoping to have a quarter tank less. So that's okay. He forgot that I weigh almost 300 pounds, so it wouldn't have made a difference. <laughs> but visibility out of the car is pretty legit. It lets you know where all the curves are all the time. All the mirrors are just, I, I swear they're there so you can see the beautiful curves of a Viper. That's about all they're good for. <laughs> seated in my seat at that point 502 foot pounds of torque in a car 600 pounds lighter than I'm used to driving yeah I'll throw you in your seat it's a good time but you can see my legs are are very much in here <laughs> I'd almost I call this more of a cockpit feeling than anything This thing sounds so amazing. You can't go wrong, man. It's, it's all stock right out of the exhaust, everything. So, I mean, even just stock. Like, our cars are just like, yeah, you want to put a different exhaust on there. And these Vipers, man, they're, they're pretty good. But I can only imagine what it would sound like with a nice exhaust on there. I did, I, I ran into a, a newer body style Viper. I don't remember what year. It had to have been probably 2008, 2009 range. And he had cammed his and put a full exhaust on it. And, uh, oh man, talk about crazy.
bet you're wondering what's underneath there, huh? Well, let's show you. Oh, you can never go wrong with a Viper V10. Oh, what a beauty. So you guys have it, 2002 Viper GTS. She's a beast. I hardly fit. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. You guys like the Viper, dislike the Viper, or even better yet, what cars do you love outside of the Camaro? So let me know in the comments below. Thanks for checking out this video, and until next time, guys, I'll see you on the road.